G'day YouTubers, thanks for tuning in to today's What's Up Toy Review and man oh man, I actually feel a bit drowsy today though because man oh man, what a day. Uh, I had a bit of fun at the centre of course there and it was Group 2 Holiday Club and mind you, the second group of Holiday Club for me was a lot more exciting compared to what I actually think Holiday Club would literally be. And in this video I'm just going to be taking a look at this product here Oh yes, it's a quite a bit of a cheapie. Uh, it's a flip level origami pets. Um, how do you say? It's called the Trainee Cardigan Wash Corgi Sheep Herding Beginners Five Pack. Cost about three pounds ninety five, which is a bit unusual for a flip up toy like that. And there's the back of the packaging there. And strangely enough, we can see what well, looks like to be a sheep. Well, a Suffolk sheep um, with a bit of wool somewhere on that leg there bit of substitute piece of wool because I'm pretty sure well maybe that's not correct maybe I've just made a little error on that drawing there but yet again I'm still quite a good drawer even with those sheep it's quite funny I actually tend to draw a lot more birds better than um, mammals and stuff because I think obviously if I'm pretty much um, well drawing pictures of birds there eh? um, I have to say whenever I think of pictures of birds are actually a bit more easy for me in my opinion to draw they because they fly and they're also quite simplistic at times it pretty much just depends you know eh? but let's not get into the harsh opinions of my own self because obviously let's take a look at the corgi oh yes it does remind me of a company called corgi and uh, I know Corgi is pretty much um, a little bit like Hornby because they do vehicles and stuff but more like into um, you know road vehicles and whatnot instead of trains and airfix I can't remember if Corgi is pretty much owned by Hornby though uh, but yet again I'm just pretty much guessing um, yeah it's quite amazing um, Corgi what an amazing dog breed and um, yes oh yes it is pretty much uh, a product of Hornby. Quite amazing. It's quite a nice looking um, Welsh breed corgis. Uh, I'm pretty sure they've sort of got like, you know, whenever I think of corgis, they're, they're sort of dog breed. Uh, you know, they're often associated with something a bit more royal with the Queen and whatnot, they. And also with Wales, that's what they come from. But I'm pretty sure, but it looks a bit. They almost look like, well, long Shiba Inus, because I'm pretty much guessing that. Well, if you think about that meme, Doge, um, yeah, quite an amazing simplistic looking face though. Well, looking a bit like a Lego dog to me though, than anything else though, but yet again it's an origami model. Again, it's not that bad, even though it's quite a simplistic looking model, it looks more like a brindle sort of colour though. Please correct me if I'm wrong though, because maybe it's not brindle, but yet again, the people are there to decide, but nevertheless, it's still quite a nice looking model, and if I show you at the back, Cardigan Welsh Corgi, fancy that, and um, it's quite a nice looking um, dog breed, I'm pretty sure, what I was actually about to say about this dog though, is that it's pretty much got like some sort of spitz breed ancestry, maybe something like a Finnish lap hound, or a Norwegian elk hound, I'm pretty sure I must have said the word lap hound, or lap hound correctly though please correct me if I'm wrong though because I really don't know how do I actually pronounce those sort of dog breed names, even the Swedish Valhund, that's another dog breed I might get into in the future though because I know there's some colleagues who are pretty much big fans of very weird unusual breeds of dogs but let's get into some sheep first we've got, or next because I've already taken a look at the, at the dog, we've got a couple of Suffolk sheep that I've got a very strange pair of orange eyes which is quite strange yet again they look nothing compared to Sean the sheep that ain't brilliant in my opinion though to say eh? but they're still brilliant well that's a nice pun eh and there you go there's our names Suffolk sheep and what else can I say also another thing I, I would also like to say is, is that whenever I think of sheep wool it's not really white but actually in reality it's tan or beige or maybe another color name quite an amazing sandy sort of yellow color and then you've also got like 
um, those white-faced sheep without being too, well, harsh for any other person from a different demographics and whatnot, though, because we're not going to be doing that, aren't we? No. Uh, it's quite a nice looking white faced sheep and white leg sheep, obviously. And I'm pretty sure it's a. Oh, what's that place in the UK called? They've got like yellow eyes on each side. Same with this one here. Uh, it looks like this one's got the spookiest eyes I've ever seen on a sheep. Looks like he's staring to your souls. Okay, I'm not gonna pretty much do some sheep staring though, because that would be bad, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. And uh, there you go, the name Cotswold Sheep. And what else does this one say? Um, it also says Cotswold Sheep. Why am I not surprised? And once again, they've got that same colorization here. There you go. Actually, another color, I was also thinking of Peach. Maybe I shouldn't say the word Peach because it relates into Super Mario Brothers. How interesting is that? And, um, hmm. What else can I just pretty much continue with the whole video about making it quite short? Ah! You know what? I'm actually thinking of vacuum cleaners! Hooray! Hmm. Oh yes, so I'm just going to go ahead and take a look at... Um, hmm. I'd probably go for like Argus. Because I know Argus sells like good vacuum cleaners though. And one vacuum cleaner, they actually caught right with my eye though. And one vacuum cleaner that actually uh, remembered on my brain was not Vax, but a Hoover H3100 HF122 GH cordless vacuum cleaner. And it costs about £119.99. Well, that's quite £120. It's pretty much one of the cheaper, uh, legitimately unbranded uh, vacuum cleaners. Uh, in fact, a lot of legitimate vacuum cleaner branded um, I'll just say company um, vacuum cleaners are pretty much well top notch obviously and well, what's quite strange is, is that via click and collect it's not in stock at Northfield Argus and Sainsbury which is very disappointing but yet again nevertheless I can even change the store as well and you can even make a delivery as well which makes it very very nice and strangely enough we're nearly approaching towards 10 o'clock today, and um, I need to position the um, camera correctly today. There you go, three seconds. Why aren't I surprised? Maybe I should position the camera, well, a bit better like that. Okay, so with that vacuum cleaner, as I will showcase perfectly right now, um, no matter on how good or bad it is, it's quite a very interesting vacuum cleaner, but yet again, um, this vacuum cleaner may have some huge imperfections, although that being said, it still looks quite a great vacuum cleaner, and mind you, it's a legitimate vacuum cleaner. It's a very nicely um, branded item, of course. I don't know why I keep on doing that, silly Ivan. <laughs> now, what's very nice is, is that, like Dyson, they introduced what looks like to be a laser technology sort of thing that they're keying into in the head there and stuff like that one, eh? so that you can pretty much suck all of the dust and all of the little tiny components that you can see and uh, not see though obviously so I've just clicked on the clock on the bottom right corner here but yet again it's quite a very weird head design though eh? um, but yes it looks very um, interesting it does have that huge reminiscence of um, Dyson you know when Dyson did the um, was it the V12 or was it the V10 I, I can't remember which uh, which cordless vacuum cleaner did Dyson do uh, with their vacuum cleaners and whatnot and stuff like that one, eh? And strange enough, it does have some huge similarities to um, Dyson. Um, but what's lacking is the cyclone technology. And the kinetic, um, I would just say, components, you know, they were heavily inspired by James Dyson's um, uh, site of looking at something that you'd find from the sawmill, maybe like a funnel or something like that one, eh? Um, yeah, it's like when air is sort of um, pretty much, I'm, I'm pretty sure air sort of chops, it sort of chops and crops the dust uh, into different sizes and stuff like that one, eh? If that makes any sense. Uh, but yet again, it's quite a very spectacular looking model though. Oh wow, look at that, cyclonic technology! 
But what's very strange is is that although it's cyclonic, this is nothing as cyclonic as Dyson. I bet you what, that's one problem I think that will pretty much be the main thing with those vacuum cleaners. Maybe one of the big gripes I could pretty much describe about this vacuum cleaner, I would pretty much predict is going to be that hose. It's going to have a very poor looking sucky head with cheaply made um, components like that. It might have a an, an imperfectionate sort of battery in it though because a lot of cordless vacuum cleaners tend to have batteries like that and sorry for my shuddering on the camera here because I've got an itchy on my arm here. Um, yes, it's quite amazing on how vacuum cleaners have been designed so differently these days and I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it indeed. <laughs> Why do I keep on reopening the the freaking quick capture uh, window? Uh, but yet again, it's quite a very interesting sort of product, though. Um, considering it's one of the more cheaper, legitimately branded uh, vacuum cleaners. Obviously, we all know the term Hoover refers to vacuum cleaner, but yet again, it's a brand name. <laughs> I wonder why I keep on, you know what, referencing that for quite a long time, eh? And strangely enough, um, it does have some similar attributes to what a Dyson vacuum cleaner would have. But I bet you what, um, Hoover... Um, may be good and perfect as Dyson, but it's nowhere near as premium and nowhere near as a lot more powerful, but yet again a lot much more reliable and also a lot more, how would you say it, um, yeah, very, very, very strong to collect as much dust compared to the Dyson vacuum cleaners. I'd definitely say the Hoover H300 uh, vacuum cleaner is actually quite interesting now. Look at but yet again. I think the cyclone technology, um, I would just say, it's nowhere near as powerful compared to what Dyson pretty much does. Well, I'm pretty sure if you really enjoyed this um, toy view, it was quite a very interesting toy view, though, and a bit of vacuum cleaner um, logicness as well. As I'm pretty much going to tell you some of the hard facts, which are pretty much true. And if you really enjoyed in this very short video, please give this video a like, subscribe to my... Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, what was I saying again? Subscribe to my food like content onto my YouTube channel, right? As I didn't know what to say there, as I just chuckled for no reason. But anyways, if you really enjoyed it, as always, thanks so much for watching, and bye for now.